Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Mr. B Cook subscribers. Appreciate you. New viewers, subscribe. Why? So you can get some cool recipes like the one we're doing tonight. We're going back to the Instant Pot and we're going to make a shredded beef taco in the Instant Pot. Jumping right in. I've got uh, some beef that I've been marinating. Let's talk about that marinade. It's been in there for about uh, two and a half, three hours. You can let beef marinate for one to 24 hours. Uh, and this has got two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of minced garlic, one cup of beef stock, um, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika, one tablespoon of sea salt, and one tablespoon of black pepper. Again, uh, I've had it for about two and a half hours sitting in that. And this is just uh, chuck roast, three pounds before I trimmed all the fat off and, and cut it into little chunks. So that's the beef. This is my Instant Pot. Uh, and I've already added one tablespoon of olive oil that you can see sitting in the bottom. Just regular olive oil, you don't need extra virgin. This is one yellow onion, and I'm gonna put that right in. And then I'm gonna turn this on to saute. I'm gonna set it for about 15 minutes. We probably won't need all that, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute the onion. So we're going down here. We're gonna go down to saute. Click that, and then we're going to set it for 15 minutes. Oh, I'm going a little too fast. Okay, it's going to take a minute to warm up. As soon as it does, we're going to let this saute. We'll come back once it's warmed up and now start showing you what's going on. You can see that these onions are definitely getting cooked up. A little bit of light brown, yellowish to them. Uh, they're getting soft, so it's time to add in that beef that we've been marinating. I'm just going to take it and sauce and all. And we're going to brown this, so it's going to depend on how much of the beef you were able to get out of the roast and how much fat you wanted to take off. You can see I still have a little bit of fat in there for, from the marbling, and that's kind of hard to remove. Um, pinch of sea salt. Pinch of black pepper. And I'm going to guess 10 minutes on saute, but we're just going to brown, so... Again, it's going to depend on how much you got out of it. It was 2.76 pound cut. And you can see that it's already starting to brown up a little bit on that piece because it was down in the bottom. So we'll see you when we get back into the brown. As you can see, the, the beef and the broth, the stock rather, have started to cook down. Uh, I've also been taking some forks uh, to shred that up a bit. Uh, as it begins to tenderize, we'll, we'll give it a good shred at the end as well. Now we're gonna switch. So the saute is done, you can see it's off. I'm using a skillet sauce, taco sauce. You can use a dry if you want. I would say probably just one if you're going with the dry. Um, but I'm gonna use two packets of this skillet sauce. This is ground beef skillet sauce. Uh, happens to be a mild chili cumin flavor, which goes well with the marinade that I was doing. Uh, and again, I'm using two of them. This is gonna really give us a nice rich taco flavor. To that, this is uh, 16 ounce, and this is a mild because my family doesn't like a lot of spice, so feel free to go with a hot. We also like ours chunky. If you like yours without so much of the chunk, feel free to do that as well. I'm gonna give this a mix now and cook. We've got two options. On the front of the slow cooker, I happen to have a meat and stew setting which is what I'm going to use. But if you don't have meat and stew, just set it to the basic pressure cook and go 40 minutes. And no matter what we're doing, we're gonna do a full release, 40 minutes on high if you're doing the pressure cook. We'll see you in 40. It's been about 40 minutes. I did a slow, a full release. So just a manual release. Uh, and you can see that the pin has dropped. We're ready to open it up. And you can see that it has cooked down quite a bit. We wanna save that liquid for anything that's gonna be left over. We're just gonna run the forks through to get it shredded up. So I'm gonna shred, but you can see that it's really fork tender, which is perfect, that's what we want. Uh, give me about uh, 60 seconds or so to finish shredding this up, and we'll spoon them into the taco shells that I have ready. I've warmed up a couple of hard shells. You are welcome to use chips, or uh, flour tortillas, or corn tortillas for that matter. And I'm just gonna scoop it in. We'll do two, three of these guys. Looking over here, I've got a couple of toppings. Of course, you can do your favorite taco toppings. Uh, we like a little bit of lettuce. Maybe a couple of tomatoes. 
a little bit of cheese. It's a little heavy. This is just some cilantro. And then uh, if you're of the kind like myself that likes a little squeeze of fresh citrus, this is just lime wedge. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, again, feel free to use uh, guacamole. I've got some pico de gallo there, salsa, whatever you use on yours. But this is really easy. It's really flavorful. You know the drill. Subscribe, share, like. When you subscribe, hit the bell so you get the notifications. Otherwise, leave me your comments down below and check back for the next video. And as always, take care.